He is known for being a Dutch Reformed minister and theologian during the Protestant Reformation period. He is recognized for his views that became the basis of Arminianism and the Dutch Remonstrant movement. He wrote many books and treatises on theology. His name is Jacobus Arminius. In the tumultuous era of the Protestant Reformation, a man named Jacobus Arminius emerged as a formidable figure in Dutch theology. Born as Jacob Hermansson, Arminius was a Dutch Reformed minister and theologian who would go on to challenge the established beliefs of his time. As a young man, Arminius showed great promise and was appointed as a professor of theology at the prestigious University of Leiden in 1603. Arminius's intellectual pursuits led him to write numerous books and treatises on theology, which would become the foundation of Arminianism and the Dutch Remonstrant movement. However, it was after his death that his ideas truly shook the theological landscape. His challenge to the Reformed Standard, the Belgic Confession, sparked intense debates and discussions at the Synod of Dort. At the Synod of Dort, theologians and scholars gathered to address the theological implications of Arminius's teachings. In response to his ideas, the Synod crafted the Five Points of Calvinism, a set of doctrines that would become a cornerstone of Reformed theology. Arminius, the protagonist of this story, had ignited a theological debate that would shape the course of Protestantism for centuries to come. Arminius's legacy lies not only in the theological concepts he presented but also in the profound impact he had on the development of religious thought. His challenge to the established beliefs and his willingness to explore new ideas paved the way for a more nuanced understanding of theology. As the story of Jacobus Arminius unfolds, it becomes clear that even in his absence, his teachings continue to provoke discussions and shape the religious landscape of his time and beyond. Jacobus Arminius, born in 1559 or 1560 in Outwater, Utrecht, experienced a challenging early life. Tragedy struck when he became an orphan, losing his father, Herman, a weapons manufacturer, and his mother during the Spanish massacre at Outwater in 1575. However, fate had something in store for young Arminius. He was fortunate enough to be adopted by Theodorus Emilius, a priest with Protestant leanings. Together, they settled in Utrecht around 1572. It was here that Arminius began his education, likely attending the Hieronymus Muscle. Following the passing of Emilius, Arminius crossed paths with Rudolf Snellius, a mathematician from Outwater. Snellius played a pivotal role in Arminius' life, bringing him to Marburg and facilitating his studies at Leiden University, where he later became a professor. In 1576, Arminius enrolled as a liberal arts student at the newly established university. Arminius' early life was marked by loss and upheaval, but it was also a period of transformative experiences and opportunities. The guidance and support of figures like Emilius and Snellius shaped Arminius' intellectual journey and set him on a path that would ultimately define his philosophical legacy. His time at Leiden University would prove instrumental in laying the foundation for his later ideas on theology and Christian doctrine. Although Arminius' philosophy may seem distant from our daily lives, his story serves as a reminder of the importance of resilience and seizing opportunities amidst adversity. Despite facing personal tragedy and uncertainty, Arminius embraced education and the pursuit of knowledge. His experiences underscore the power of education in shaping our perspectives and equipping us to navigate the complexities of life. As we encounter challenges and uncertainties in our own lives, we can draw inspiration from Arminius' determination to rise above his circumstances. His story encourages us to persevere, seek out opportunities for growth, and never underestimate the transformative power of education and intellectual curiosity. Jacobus Arminius, a young and ambitious student, enrolled at Leiden University in the late 16th century. While officially studying liberal arts, Arminius also had the opportunity to delve into the realm of theology. His professors included renowned figures such as Calvinist Lambertus Denius and Hebrew scholar Johannes Drusius. However, it was his encounter with Johann Kalman that would leave a lasting impact on Arminius. Kalman boldly declared that the overemphasis of God's sovereignty in high Calvinism made God a tyrant and an executioner. This statement challenged the prevailing theological doctrine and planted seeds of doubt in Arminius's mind. Despite Leiden University's strong Reformed influence, it also harbored diverse perspectives from Lutheran, Zwinglian, and Anabaptist traditions. Arminius encountered a pastor who, contravening Calvin's teachings, believed that civil authorities had jurisdiction in certain church matters and that punishing and executing heretics was unjust. This pastor also proposed that Lutherans, Calvinists, and Anabaptists could find common ground in essential beliefs. These alternative perspectives further fueled Arminius's intellectual curiosity and opened his mind to different theological possibilities. Arminius's time at Leiden introduced him to Ramist philosophy, popularized by the astronomer and mathematician Villebroid Snellius. 
This philosophical approach aimed to encourage students to seek truth without relying solely on Aristotle's teachings. Arminius embraced these methods, using them to shape his own theological inquiries. However, his use of Ramist philosophy garnered disapproval, and he was publicly forbidden to teach it. Undeterred by this setback, Arminius sought further education in Basel. In Basel, Arminius continued to excel as a student, impressing his professors with his intellectual prowess. In 1583, he contemplated returning to Geneva, where he had previously studied under Theodore Beza. To his surprise, the theological faculty in Basel spontaneously offered him a doctorate, a prestigious honor he declined due to his youth. Instead, Arminius chose to complete his studies in Geneva under the tutelage of Beza, the prominent theologian. Arminius's theological journey during his early years of study laid the foundation for his future contributions to the field. Inspired by Kalman's critique of Calvinism and influenced by the diverse perspectives he encountered, Arminius began to question the dominant Reformed theology championed by John Calvin. His exposure to Ramist philosophy further shaped his approach to theological inquiry, emphasizing the pursuit of truth beyond traditional teachings. Jacobus Arminius, renowned theologian of his time, embarked on his journey of theological studies and ministry in the late 16th century. Having been ordained as a pastor in 1588, Arminius quickly gained a reputation for his eloquent sermons and unwavering commitment to his congregation in Amsterdam. It was during this time that Arminius was entrusted with a significant task by the Ecclesiastical Court of Amsterdam. He was called upon to refute the teachings of Dirk Volkerts and Kornhurt, a prominent figure who challenged the prevailing doctrine of God's decree of predestination. Kornhurt rejected the idea that God unconditionally elected some individuals for salvation and condemned others to damnation. Arminius eagerly took up the challenge, determined to uphold the prevailing supralapsarian doctrine. However, as he delved deeper into his studies, he found himself conflicted over the matter. Recognizing the need for further contemplation and research, Arminius made the decision to pause his refutation and devote more time to studying the intricacies of the theological debate. In the midst of his theological endeavors, Arminius found love and companionship in Lijsbet Riel, the daughter of a prominent merchant and poet in Amsterdam. Their marriage not only brought personal joy but also opened doors to influential connections within the merchant industry and high society. Arminius, entrusted with the task of organizing the educational system of Amsterdam, excelled in his duties and garnered great respect from his peers. In 1602, a devastating plague swept through Amsterdam, leaving its citizens in despair. It was during this crisis that Arminius's true character shone through. Fearlessly, he entered infected houses to provide water to the afflicted, disregarding his own safety. Moreover, he generously supplied funds to assist the neighbors in caring for the sick, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to compassion and service. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.